How's it going, YouTube? My name is the Touring Bus, and welcome to the fourth episode of our Arsenal FC career mode here on FIFA 20. So in the last episode, we ended off with a 3-0 home win against Bournemouth, and in the break between that episode and now, I've simulated four games, and there were some pretty good results. I just wasn't really interested in playing Sheffield United, uh, Gimares, or however you say that, uh, Crystal Palace, and then Sheffield again. So we got a nice 3-1 victory on the road against Sheffield United, who I think are like top eight this season. They were doing pretty well. Then we absolutely destroyed Gimares, 5-0. I think that was on the road. It was an incredible victory there. Uh, we beat Crystal Palace at home 2-1, and then we drew in the Carabao Cup round of 16 against Sheffield United, but we beat them on penalties. Now, in this episode, our first game will be taking on Wolverhampton at home on November 3rd. Good tackle, Hector. Here's a wide open Matt Doherty now. On the right wing, passing it inside. It's gone past absolutely everybody, but we clear it at the back post. Can we counterattack from that? Lacazette, Guendouzi, Aubameyang, back to Laka. Got a bit of space. James Madison, this has been some really good passing here. He's going to go for a sweaty goal, and Aubameyang finishes it off. That was an incredible team goal as we ran the counterattack. I know sweaty goals are pretty bad, but it was pretty much my only option there. James Madison did not have a decent shot, and that was some incredible passing on the counter from the Gunners, and we are 1-0 up here on Wolverhampton. James Madison has only one goal so far this season, but a ton of assists. It's halftime, and we are 1-0 up here on Wolverhampton. I do have to say they've had a couple of chances, but we're playing very well, very clinical. That amazing counterattack goal is so far the difference between these two sides. We've got 45 minutes left to keep this lead. It's a high ball up to Diogo Yota, and Hector Bellerin has been incredible in this game. Madison's picked it off from one of their defenders, and we've got quite a few players going forward now. He plays it back for Lucas Torreira, and then Donker blocks his shot. Madison is going to take another shot, and it cannons off the left post. Pretty good positive attacking football from us here, but unable to find the goal. And we've kind of slowed down their momentum. They're going backwards at this point. Pretty good defending from us. And Madison does incredibly. It's a three-on-two. Can he release one of those attackers? It's down the middle for Alexandre Lacazette. He's dribbling it forward, and he's going to go for the finish into the bottom left corner. And Lacazette, who had a horrible start to the season and then had that four-goal game last episode against Frankfurt, is now coming into a bit of form. I think that's his first Premier League goal scored in a game that I've played. And it's a very, very good finish from the striker and yeah that is his very first Premier League goal and we're like 10 12 games into the season he's been pretty bad so far to be honest but that's a lot better referee blows his whistle for the last time here it is a very good 2-0 victory at home against a very good Wolverhampton side proud of this result really good performance from the lads all right the second game of the episode is going to be a simulated one we take on V Guimaraes I really don't know how to say that but we beat them 5-0 in Portugal and there we go it's a 4 nothing win at the Emirates very solid we're on a pretty big win streak right now and uh, we're doing really well I'm excited to see who is our next opponents in the league it's Leicester City James Madison will be facing off against his former club on the 10th of November here and we are gonna play that game and the lineup for this game is going to be fairly rotated the likes of David Luiz and Lacazette were pretty tired so they might come off the bench uh, but I've got to start Eddie and Kitia and Callum Chambers for this match at King Power Stadium. Oh no, that guy is wide open. I don't even know how to say it. Kapustka, I wasn't even commentating. I was focusing, and they were just ripping me apart. It's some incredible passing, some great play from Leicester City, and they really caught me out here. It's just some wonderful team play. And Leicester City are now 1-0 up on us. And Jamie Vardy, I think, has been sold. They sold Madison. Obviously, Conte and Morris is gone, are gone. This is such a different team, and we're still losing here. Only 17 minutes in. John Stones up in Ketia. Oh, one of their center backs is out of position now, and it's Pepe's chance to equalize, and he does. It's an incredible finesse shot into the side netting. And with literally our first shot of the game... We have scored a goal, and it's 1-1 here. A great play, great composure, and a great finish from Nico Pepe. 
All right, lads, counterattack here. We've won the ball back from Leicester City. It's Torreira up for Eddie and Ketia. He's going to get there, but what is he going to do is the question. He chips it up, and Nicolas Pepe has a brace. 32 minutes into this game, he's taken two shots, and he scored two goals. An incredible little counterattack there. We are really becoming a very counterattacking team. I mean, with so many fast forwards like Enkitia, Aubameyang, and Nicolas Pepe, and some great passers in our midfield like Guendouzi and Torreira, I mean, it's a really, really deadly combination. And it's a wonderful header for Nicolas Pepe to make it 2-1 to Arsenal. Guendouzi does very well to pick the ball off. Are we going to get another little counterattack going? He gets the ball all the way up to Nico Pepe, and he's definitely got the pace to go past this left back. He's going to go near post. Can he get the hat trick? Unbelievable. Nicolas Pepe is having the most ridiculously good first season here at Arsenal. I mean, in real life, he has struggled so much. I think he has about four goals all season and we're almost done with the season if the if the season hadn't been shut down. But we are like a couple months in here and he has nine Premier League goals already. He has been insane this season. It's halftime when we're 3-1 up. We've done incredibly well so far. Four goals in this game already and there's literally been four shots in total. As you can see, Leicester have so much more uh, possession. But we've been brilliant on the counterattack and we got a two-goal lead here at the King Power. It's Kieran Tierney's going to try again to whip it into the box, and it's Nicolas Pepe who had his header on target, but Peter Schmeichel, wait, is it, no, Kasper Schmeichel makes a very good point-blank save. Madison takes it past Yuri Tielemans, his former teammate, and blasts one. Schmeichel makes another decent save, and it's cleared by Christian Fuchs. And Katia turns his man, gets it on to James Madison, who crosses it back to Nketia, and I pressed B. That was a shot, and... It didn't even make it out of bounds, but it would have been a throw-in. And what the heck is Iose Perez doing there? He just gifts us this corner kick. Madison out to Pepe. Is he going to go for the fourth or is he going to pass it? He goes for the goal. He falls over. And while he's falling, he knocks the ball into the goal. That is a hilarious, comical goal. How did that just happen? I wasn't sure to, pa to pass or shoot. And eventually... That just happened, and that just shows you how lucky Pepe has been today. Everything he does results in a goal, and it's 4-1 to Arsenal now. And that is it. Full-time scores. Leicester City 1, Arsenal 4. Nicolas Pepe with four goals, and he takes home the match ball. An incredible performance. But you know what? I'm starting to think we've won quite a few games in a row. I think it is time here to upgrade to ultimate difficulty and for the next match which will be the final match of the episode i'll be playing it on ultimate and honestly i think i might just get destroyed because recently i've had so much difficulty playing against ultimate but uh we'll see how it goes uh, our next game is against southampton at home which we are going to simulate but the one after that will be played and here we are for that home game up against southampton i have brought maitland niles uh, Willock and Martinelli into the starting lineup to see if they will do well. They are on some really bad form right now and we make it even worse for them with like our fifth or sixth win in a row. Lacazette does unfortunately get injured which is a bit of a scare but Pepe and Laka are the goal scorers. Oh my god. This is a real game changer here. Alexandra Lacazette is injured for the next four months with a broken tibia. That is brutal. Our backup striker is Eddie and Kitia. That's that's bad news. I think in the January window, I might have to sign a striker. I'm scouting them, and I literally have found one decent striker. And I think I might go in for this man, Alexander Isaac. He has a really good potential, and in real life, he's done very well at Real Sociedad. So I might have to go in and try to sign him. But uh, that is not what we were hoping for when I saw that Lacazette had an injury. It was a Band-Aid injury as well, not the little the ambulance sign. So I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but it's very bad. So because we've already played Frankfurt a couple episodes back, I'm actually just going to simulate this one too. But I will be playing our next game, which is up against the Norwich Canaries. Let's see how we do in match day number five of the Europa League. It's home game up against... Frankfurt, it's pretty boring. It's a nil-nil draw. At least we get a clean sheet there. But uh, I would have expected a win from us. However, that does keep us top of the table. And all we will need is a draw in our last game, which is against Standard Liège. 
we lost to them last time, so I'm definitely going to play that and try to get my revenge. But uh, we are sitting on 10 points in 5 games. We have qualified, but I would like to finish top as well. Alright, it's December 1st, and we are heading to Cara Road to take on James Madison's former team. That's two former teams in a row for him now as we take on Norwich. Holy crap, I did not notice, but uh, Martin Tyler or whatever just told me that Nicholas Pepe is currently the top goal scorer in the Premier League. That is incredible. He's having a Mo Salah-like season right now. I can already tell from Ultimate Difficulty that their passes are just so much faster. I mean, it feels like everything is faster by them, and it would be so embarrassing if... I know it's Ultimate Difficulty, but it would still be so embarrassing if we lose to Norwich. Todd Cantwell now takes a strike with his left foot, and Bernd Leno makes a very good save. I need to... <laughs> Everything they do is giving me anxiety. They're just going so quickly. Are the sliders changed or something? Ultimate difficulty is pretty pretty tough, huh? Tom Tribal. They are passing it around. This is Grant freaking Hanley. Oh, ultimate difficulty is actually really fucking tough. And Grant Hanley. You're telling me Grant Hanley just scored a goal. I'm pretty sure in the last five years, Hanley has scored more own goals than goals. Oh my god. I might have to go down to legendary difficulty again. This, this is not a good start. He's got the pass to James Madison to score against his old side. It's a decent shot, but Tim Krul makes the save. We've got a corner now. Oh, I just thought of an idea. I shouldn't be playing in Ketty. I should be playing Aubameyang at striker. And then play Martinelli at left wing. That's so much easier. Because Martinelli is like five ratings higher than Nketiah. So would be smart. Holding cannot make the tackle and hold on to the ball. Wendy's shot was on target, but Leno makes a decent save here. Oh my god, I can't clear the ball. John Stones makes a really good sliding tackle, but I... <sighs> I am not playing well right now. Corner just never we just never win that header i don't understand Gwenduzi, tierney and kiti has got some space he's gonna strike it oh oh eddie what a finish by eddie and kitia an incredible driven shot into that bottom left corner from the youngster and it will be level right before halftime what a goal. That's one of the better goals I've scored this season. And Katia, a fantastic finish. And it's 1-1. I know it's weird to be celebrating that vigorously against Norwich, but ultimate difficulty is a real challenge, and I'm pretty happy to score that goal. 60th minute, we've got half an hour left, and Martinelli and Willock are coming on. Let's hope they can change this game and get us all three points here. Martinelli... Oh, but, oh my god, why is Grant Hanley so good? He's not. He's horrible. How is he playing so well, hmm? Oh my god, Grant Hanley! Why are you so good? Oh. Maybe not that good because he gave away a foul. And I have not... This is literally my first free kick in this career mode. And I'm not very good at free kicks. But I'm going for it. Oh, and it just barely hits Timu Puki's head. It's yet another corner for us. Come on, guys. Cross from James Madison. Just nobody tries to get the ball. I don't understand. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ball's been played up for Timu Puki, and he's totally onside. It's Puki against Maitland Niles. Maitland Niles misses his tackle. It's played forward to Onel Hernandez. Burned Leno. What a save. It's cleared. Why are we up against the ropes against freaking Norwich City? Please. Oh my god. We're supposed to be pushing for the goal. Why are they dominating us right now? Joe Willock. How is Grant Hanley so good? This is Grant Hanley. He's like 72 rated. He's the shittiest player in the Premier League. Our first game in Ultimate Difficulty finishes 1-1 away at Carroll Road. Eh, I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, as opposed to the other games I had been playing on Ultimate Difficulty, I was normally losing like 4 nothing, so it's not that bad, I guess. But Grant Hanley just turned into the best player in the history of the sport in that game, made so many tackles, and scored a freaking goal. 
And we take one point here on the road. I don't know what to feel about that one. Hopefully we can build on that. I'm going to keep playing on ultimate difficulty just so that I can go for a challenge. Because realistically, Arsenal probably would not be doing as well as I am right now in this career mode if it was real life. But that is everything for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.